Today, we've got the first look at the brand new Pixel Fold 2, which has some big changes from the predecessor, as well as lots of confirmation on the new specs. Before we get started though, let me know in the comments who's excited for the Pixel Fold 2, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech. So first up, before we get into the reveal, we've got plenty of confirmations on the specs of the Pixel Fold 2, and it's getting at some very important upgrades. In a new report from Android Authority, their sources claimed that the Pixel Fold 2 is going to be skipping the Tensor G3 chipset we saw in the latest Pixel 8 phones, and it's going to be releasing with the new Tensor G4 from Google. It's an interesting move from Google, and I'd say it's for the better as it is a premium device, but this may also affect the release date, which we'll cover shortly. As well as the upgrade to the chipset, we're also getting an upgrade to the memory, and we'll be getting 16GB of DDR5 RAM, which is a big step up from the predecessor's 12GB, and we're also going to be getting faster storage thanks to UFS 4. The previous Pixel Fold was announced at Google's I.O. event last year, but according to a new report, the Pixel Fold 2 is going to debut alongside the Pixel 9, and this makes a lot of sense. The trouble with the release at Google's I.O. event is that it then features a chipset which is almost a year old already, and when Google are trying to convince users to buy an expensive new foldable, it needs to have the latest chipset. By delaying it until the Pixel 9 launch, it means it can also feature the Tensor G4 chipset and not be somewhat outdated at launch. According to reports though, we may be getting a teaser for the Pixel Fold 2 at this year's Google I.O. Now next up, we've got details on the new Tensor G4 chipset, and it's appeared on Geekbench 5, and we now know that it's an 8-core CPU cluster along with ARM's Immortalis G715 GPU, and Leaker Connor tweeted to say that the new Tensor G4 was actually based on the Exynos 2400, but that appears to be incorrect given that they've got completely different CPU configurations, and early benchmarks are actually showing low scores, and they are in fact actually lower than the Tensor G3, but this of course won't be the case on the final release. Either the benchmark isn't real or it's just an early stage benchmark and it needs to undergo a lot more optimization before the final release. But regardless, when it comes to the Tensor G4, we know from previous releases it's going to be a perfectly capable chipset and great for AI, but it's not going to be as powerful as the latest Snapdragon chip when it comes to raw CPU performance. Next up, we already have the first look at the new Pixel Fold 2 thanks to Android Authority, and they've gotten their hands on a real-life image. Now, there's things here that are blurred out to protect the source of the leak, and interestingly, it looks like they've cut out the background and replaced it with a green screen, but it does show us that there's going to be some big changes this year, and then I've also made it these 3D renders here based on this leak. Now, for a start, we've got a completely different camera module, and it's now a small rectangle in the top left instead of the big bar that we had last year. And there also appears to be four sensors inside the module. Currently, we don't have the info on exactly what they are yet, but it will, of course, be a wide angle, an ultra wide, and a telephoto. And then we've got this fourth new sensor. When it comes to the new force sensor, it's all just guesses at the moment. It could be a time of flight sensor for better depth information, or it could also be an infrared sensor for temperature, considering Google now have FDA approval for human use. But of course, as soon as we find out anything, I'll update you straight away. Another big change we have is the overall form factor. The Pixel Fold was quite short and wide, which I personally found great. But the Pixel Fold 2 has a much narrower cover display, and it's reportedly due to optimization issues from some apps with the previous model. And now the inner aspect ratio is pretty much going to be a square. And Android Authority weren't able to get the exact dimensions of the phone, but the report says that it's very similar to the OnePlus Open. The report also states that it's going to feature an aluminium frame along with a more curved inner and outer display. And while there was no mention of the inner display, I'm hoping that we get much thinner bezels as I've used here in my renders. The previous Pixel just had too big a bezel for my liking, and for a phone that costs so much money, I just felt that it did take away from the premium look that it could have had. Though overall though, it looks like there's going to be some big changes coming this year, and they're all for the better. And it doesn't come as a surprise now when we see a Google device leaked so early, as it happens every year. Now, for those excited for the Pixel Fold 2, though, we're now going to run through the full specs, design, and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if it is worth the wait. 
So with the Pixel Fold 2, we're expecting something around a 6.5 inch cover display. It's going to be a 120 hz OLED display protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2. And of course, the peak brightness is unknown at the moment, but we're expecting something around 2000 nits. We're also expecting an increase in the internal display size thanks to the new form factor, and I estimate we're going to get a 7.9 inch 120 hz foldable OLED with a peak brightness of around 2000 nits. We of course get two selfie cameras on the Pixel Fold 2. We've got one on the cover display and then one on the inside display. We're hoping to see an upgrade to a 10.5 megapixel selfie camera for the cover display. And there are a few rumors floating around of an under display camera on the inside. When it comes to the rear cameras, we're expecting a 50 megapixel wide angle as the primary camera with multi-zone laser autofocus, dual pixel phase detect autofocus and optical stabilization. For the ultra wide, we're expecting a 48 megapixel camera with dual pixel phase detect autofocus. And then for the telephoto, we're expecting a 48 megapixel with optical image stabilization and five times optical zoom. There is of course a fourth sensor. We don't know exactly what it is at the moment, but it's likely to be a time of flight sensor or a temperature sensor. It's going to be powered by the new Tensor G4 chipset from Google. While it doesn't have the raw CPU performance of the latest Snapdragon chipset, it's still a perfectly capable chipset and it's great for AI performance. We get 16GB of DDR5 RAM along with a choice of 256, 512 or even 1TB of storage and this will be at UFS4. And then when it comes to the battery, we're estimating something around 5000mAh battery and while fast charging is still currently unknown, it will support wired and wireless charging. We of course get 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, ultra wideband and Wi-Fi 7 and it's going to be shipping with the latest version of Android 15. It's expected to launch around $1800 and it's likely going to be delayed this year to launch alongside the Pixel 9 series in October. So overall, the new Pixel Fold 2 is looking very different from its predecessor. We've got a new design with a new form factor for better optimizations along with plenty of upgrades in hardware to match. As with all Google phones lately, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on AI features and performance, and it's going to deliver the great photography that we expect from a Pixel phone. Now, the first Pixel Fold seemed a bit more of a prototype to me, although it wasn't bad for a first attempt, but the Pixel Fold 2 is looking to refine things a lot more. Now, of course, we're still a long way away from launch, but as we know, Google are not very good at keeping anything a secret, so the leaks are no doubt going to come flooding in and I'll be sharing them as soon as they do. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.